I'm here today at Perth Zoo, which has welcomed a record number of visitors in 2016. Danielle Henry is about to tell us why some 700,000 people have been walking through the gates of this popular tourist attraction. What's attracting people to walk through the gates and visit the zoo? So our surge in visitation can be attributed to a number of things. We've had some new events that we hosted in the last financial year, um, including our popular Boo at the Zoo, our Halloween event, which is coming up again soon. We've got a whole host of different animal encounter experiences. So you can get up close to rhinoceroses, to giraffes, to elephants, and some of the native Western Australian species. And probably the biggest thing that created the surge in visitation was our dinosaur exhibition, Jurassic Park at Perth Zoo. That ran last year and over the same time period we had a 25% increase in visitation. The dinosaurs were potted all throughout the zoo. Uh, there were different experiences so you could get up close to the dinosaurs and learn about the dinosaurs but also about the species that are similar to them in today's age so that we can help stop the extinction of some of our species here today. Uh, we've also got a whole range of different animal encounter experiences that the whole family can enjoy together and some new events like our Boo at the Zoo Halloween event and our Breakfast with the Elephants events. Does the zoo have anything planned for the school holidays, seeing that there are so many kids walking around? For these school holidays, we've gone potty at Perth Zoo. We're celebrating spring and the, the start of the warmer weather. So people can come in and do some potting of plants and some spring planting activities. There's also a zoo, poo and you trail that the kids can enjoy and learn about what we feed the animals, what types of who they do and learn a little bit more about each and every animal. We also have some new arrivals. We have some new baby ringtail lemurs, a critically endangered species that were born just the other week, and our tree kangaroo baby, the first to be born at the zoo in 36 years. What makes Perth Zoo a must visit tourist attraction? I think what makes Perth Zoo a must-see tourist attraction is that we're so close to the city. You can get here by ferry or you can park here at the zoo. We are also home to over 1,500 different animals from a whole range of different species, animals that you can't see anywhere else in Western Australia, um, including some of our native species that many people don't even know about or don't get to see in their daily lives. What are some of the native species that you have here at the Perth Zoo? Some of the native species we have are the numbat, the, the WA fauna emblem. Um, we also have the critically endangered western swamp tortoise, which is one of the most endangered reptiles anywhere in the world. And tiny little dibblers, a carnivorous marsupial. Do you see many tourists visit the zoo or is it mostly the locals that visit the zoo? The majority of the visitors that come to Perth Zoo are local visitors and it's great to see that locals are loving their local zoo. So 86% of our visitation come from WA, the rest are from interstate or international. What's been most popular at the zoo lately in terms of like the animal enclosures or encounters or the exhibits or activities? Most popular at the zoo lately by far was our dinosaur exhibition, Jurassic Park. In terms of our animals here at the zoo, our baby tree kangaroo, Mian, has definitely been a highlight for visitors. It's the first tree kangaroo to be born at Perth Zoo in 36 years. And our elephants, um, Trisha, who's a, a bit of a personality, and her herd mate, Permai and Saput, are definitely um, favourites here at Perth Zoo. To attract visitors to Perth Zoo, we're always constantly changing things. So we have new animals that come in, we have new experiences so that people can get up close and personal to wildlife and really create that connection. And we have a whole load of educational activities as well. So children can come in, they can have their school lessons here, they can learn about the animals and then they can see them here at the zoo as well. If you're planning to visit Perth Zoo during this school holidays, there's a free shuttle bus service which operates from Lamb Street to the zoo, running from 10am till 5pm until October 9. Michael So reporting for Undercurrent. <laughs>